Hi, this is Mike with AskTractorMike.com. I get some of the best ideas from my viewers sometimes, and this is one I, I want to put in the category of why didn't I think of this before? But a, a lot of the problem when you're a new tractor owner, or even when you're someone that's been around tractors their enti your entire life, is hooking up the PTO shaft. And a big part of the problem is, you can see the splines on the stub shaft that comes out of the tractor, but lining up with the splines on the implement PTO shaft can be a problem because those are inside and you can't see them. And a lot of times you're stuck in between the three-point arms and, and kind of cramped in there in the A-frame of the, of the implement trying to get hooked up. Well, Mike, one of my viewers, had this tremendous idea. And we're going to take one of my favorite tools, which is a paint pencil. And stay with me till the end. I'm going to show you a couple of other uses for this. And we're going to go to our PTO shaft on our implement. Now, if you've got a PTO shaft that looks like this, a PTO yoke, we're going to paint where uh, the splines are inside the PTO shaft. And that's going to make it a lot easier for us to line this shaft up with our tractor when we're hooking up. Now this is a PTO uh, yoke off of my post hole digger. That one's real easy. Now the PTO shafts that are a little tough to mark look like this. They either have a, a pullback collar that releases ball bearings inside of them or a twist that releases ball bearings to get them hooked on the tractor. And what you'll have to do on them is pull them back just a little bit and put the mark underneath where those collars or the, or the twist collar are and, and then you'll have a, a, a mark where it show you where the splines are on your PTO shaft. And that ought to help us a whole bunch of getting that thing lined up and getting it on the tractor. Now, I'm just trying this today. I haven't, it's, it's winter time. I'm not using my brush hog or my post hole digger right now. But uh, I think when spring rolls around and I'm, I'm switching from one to the other quite a bit, I'm really going to love this little trick. Mike, thank you for suggesting that. Now, while we're on the subject of paint pencil, I'm going to go over a little rant I put on my Facebook page this week. The decals sometimes that you have on a tractor are real hard to read. On my tractor, telling when you're in four-wheel drive or not in four-wheel drive is really tough. So I took my paint pencil and marked four-wheel drive and two-wheel drive so I can just glance at it without my reading glasses at my age and tell when I'm involved and when I'm engaged in four-wheel drive. And I'd recommend that too. And another thing, uh, last thing, and I gave this tip in another video, if you can get the after hours cell phone numbers of the people you deal with at your local dealership, and I put them with a paint pencil somewhere on my tractor, so if I'm broke down in the field, I don't have to go looking for a business card, or, or if I, uh, uh, you know, maybe I've got them stored in my phone, and that's good too, but I, I don't want to rummage around for numbers to call. Maybe I can call the folks at uh, service tractors and they can get me running if it's something simple in the field. So I put those numbers on the tractor as well. And I also have, sometimes I can't remember which oil to put in a gearbox or something like that. Anytime, anything I have trouble remembering, I mark it with a paint pencil. Makes a whole world a lot easier. Paint pencil is one of my favorite tools. I survive on web traffic. I'd be honored if you'd subscribe to my YouTube channel and make sure you hit that bell icon so you know when I've posted a new video. And, and like my Facebook page and share this video with other tractor enthusiasts. And if you have questions or comments, put them down below. Get some of my best ideas for videos from folks just like you. Thanks for watching.